I'm not a religious man, but I'm worried about Hilda. Uh, and I'm, I'm, well, I mean, I'm worried about her, and I'm, I'm worried about where it leaves me. Yeah. So I thought it'd be good to talk to a priest, you know, because uh, well, they're like the Swiss, and they in the war, you know, sort of neutral. It's uh, it's a little delicate, uh, Father, because uh, I've felt you might be the man to talk to. I'd really, my wife, she's having an operation, yeah. and I'm I'm worried out of my wits. Right. Well, uh, it, it's quite common for everyone to be challenged by things that come along. In the Catholic faith, we follow the teachings of Jesus Christ, and Jesus uh, was crucified, and we take that as a, a sign that, that when we're faced with these terrible, overwhelming yeah, things, well, that we, as it were, take our example from terrible. Jesus on this his way to terrible. the cross. You've got a direct line I, I, to God, I feel so certain that your wife brilliant. will recover and she'll be she'll be okay. I don't think you've understood that. We have that. a lot of people when, in the parish who have yeah. had operations, whose husbands or wives yeah, have had not operations. Yeah, like this. not like this, I don't think. You haven't understood, I don't think, Father. Uh, you see, my right. wife uh, is uh, uh, going to have an operation to become a bloke. Jesus, one of the things about Jesus yeah. was that he, he was very, very good at accepting people, faults and all. Did he, did he ever accept a woman who had become a bloke in the Bible days? Was there ever a woman who had, like, a, a dinkle put on her to make her a bloke? I don't think so. I, I don't remember nothing like that in the Bible. I can't recall a story like that in either no, the Old or the New I Testament. No, I don't think there is, Padre. I can't, but, I can't think of an example. I think were something like that to yeah, happen, things like that. he would have accepted it, that as a choice that someone had made. He um, would. You, know, I, you, you I, shouldn't worry. You shouldn't worry. I love her. You see, I love her. Of course, of course. And the problem I've got now is that I love a bloke. Is because, that wrong? Because she was a woman. She, oh, she married. was very much a woman. So you, you. And I'm worried what it makes me. Yeah. Well, it makes you a man married to a man. It, it, it means that you are in a homosexual relationship. Um, it, technically. No. But you're still married to Hilda. No. Even though she's a man, she is still your wife. So I, I think it's, it, it's, it's very straightforward, really. And I think that God will, in his infinite kindness, forgive you and Hilda, who, who's now a man. He won't judge me for being with a bloke. Well, she's He's not, not going to think I'm an iron, is he? She's become a bloke, but she she's was your wife when you married her. And God will yeah. see that. Yes. He well, sees the whole thing. He doesn't just yeah. see the little thing. He sees the whole thing.